about is the K2 shifter. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build a uh, custom uh, carbon fiber piece right there. This is some kind of rare JDM piece and uh, I'm gonna build a carbon fiber piece that goes up in here and I'm gonna run my AEM gauges. Probably gonna have an AEM uh, wide band and then uh, probably gonna have my buddy uh, Rob Brennan do like a street tune on it um, before I boost it and then I'm probably gonna take it to humble performance but uh, I'm probably gonna have to run the AEM wide band for that. So you can street tune it, and uh, and I'm gonna have the boost gauge here, which I probably eventually gonna go boost. But I figure since I'm gonna do that, uh, I'm probably gonna have the boost gauge right there. So, anyways, what I meant to talk to you guys about the shifter is to adjust the shifter to your length of your arm. Uh, what I meant to say about about that is that most people, or me personally in general, if you go, let's say you first gear, right? If you actually, when you go in first, you want to be able, that's just me. Now, don't judge me on this. Maybe you guys have different ideas or whatever. Just comment down below. Uh, me personally, when I go in first gear, I actually want to reach first gear and actually be able to have my the palm right there. I'm still actually having pressure pushing in where actually I don't have to move from my seat forward to get into first gear because when you do that you move forward to get in first gear or when you go into second and you hit you hit right there if you have one of those when you hit right there that's gonna block you from pulling that second gear hard in because it's stopping point so you can either miss a gear or grind gears so that's kind of one thing so I adjusted my cables uh, the other thing is you adjust this cable right there and then that's gonna bring your uh, shifter throat to the left or right, depending how you want it. But I kind of have it center because I don't have really small, small, you know, length. But you guys, when you adjust these cables, make sure that when you go to first, at least first, second, third, fourth, because when you race or you know, you're not gonna really slam fifth or sixth. But at least first, second, third, fourth. Uh, first is first is closer, but my mainly one it's third when you go to third you want to be able to have it like right there you still can push on it and when you pull it to fourth i don't know if you can tell look at that it's still a clearance right there for my elbow i don't know if you can tell so when you pull into when you pull into fourth actually you're not hitting the this console right here and then that kind of mess you or gets the miss the gears you don't want to do that it's very 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 important that you adjust that and it makes a huge difference. You, a lot of you out there, you probably never thought of this, but if you have this shifter, I suggest, and it works for me great, maybe it might not work for you, but you give it a try. Adjust your cables where actually you can reach first and second without hitting, but actually be able still to have a pull. Like when you pull second or fourth, you want it to have like a strength, like still a lot of length, like reach to pull down where it's not your elbows touching something because then you're just gonna miss a gear and you can't get it in. And then same thing with third. When you push first or third, fifth, whatever, uh, you want to be able to still have room. Like see, I'm in third right now, and then you can see I can still push without getting off my seat. Because when you have to get off your seat, that's when you're like, you're not, you're not moving, you're moving your whole body. You just wanna wanna do hand movement only. So that kinda gives you tips how to probably drive faster. Now my previous car, not all of them had the shifter and I'm, I had to move my whole body or whatever, but just a tip for you guys out there with the K2 shifter, uh, how to um, how to uh, adjust these cables. And uh, this has been great, by the way, the K2 product, awesome. I mean, this is not me just saying that. I mean, dude, I mean, just looking for yourself. Boom, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I mean, so click, 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 click. And then, you know, I raised it up where it's, you know, a little bit higher than that point. And it's within my reach. You don't want it too high. So your blood circulation runs down. You just kind of want a hand reach where it's comfortable. Now, running those sparkle seats right there, they kind of help me out to kind of drop my body down a little bit to the floor. So I'm able to kind of keep my hand higher. So actually that helps a lot. Plus the higher the, the length of the shifter is the harder is uh, you can pull on it, you know? So you have a lot more force to pull. 
That's why kind of the same way with the breaker bar. The longer the breaker bar is, the easier to lose stuff, you know? So kind of like this, you know? I'm not saying that you need that with K-Tune because K-Tune is just, it goes click, click. But I'm just saying, the harder it is, the more stroke you have to pull forward, pull forward or backwards, whichever. But uh, yeah, there you have it. And uh, what's going on, Noah? Nothing. I was just uh, telling them these guys and these viewers online how to uh, adjust their shifter properly here. All right, I think Noah's ready for a ride. So, you see Noah, what I did over here? I started this... Uh... Can I try? Can I see about there? You wanna see if you can... Okay, then you need to get out. Okay, actually, we're gonna demonstrate this. Hold on, just wait for me. I'll come on the other side. Or you can come this way. Shit, go ahead and come this way. Okay, so let's see, go ahead and pull the seat back. Okay. okay, there you go. Watch your head when you go down. That's probably plenty room, right? Yeah. Okay, sit down. On your seat. I mean, look how much room you got, right? That means we can hold it. Like you can hold it. Before, when I used to have the other one, it was right about here, so a lot easier to hold it, but dangerous. That's why when I used to have it back here, I used to just really take you slow. Take it easy, remember? We didn't like really, we didn't do nothing crazy, you know? Even though, even though Ali likes fast, fast, fast all the time. Daddy, if it goes fast, go fast. This Saturday we might do some cruise, so why take the kids out, do some burnouts and stuff, you know? We're gonna make one of my videos too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Well, there you have it, guys. Bye. Make sure you guys subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That helps other viewers to so check out my videos and be like, hey, this guy is not so bad. He's kind of weird, but... Make sure a thumbs up for Dad. Make sure a thumbs up and you like this video. Leave your comments down below if you enjoy it. Thank you, Noah. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. Vasily Garage out. Out.